All right, hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a optimization problem, and um, let's suppose that a postal service uh, allows us to send packages. Okay, so we have this package here, rectangular box. Now um, their restriction would be that uh, the length, the sum of the length plus uh, the girth has to be 108 inches. So this part here. And uh, or these four lengths here plus this fifth length y, length y has to be 108 inches. Okay, so we'll put that here. So this uh, it's not very square. I guess uh, my art skills are lacking. But this is uh, x x x and x. So that gives us 4x plus y has to equal 108. Now. Oh, I didn't put the X there. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay, so we want to find uh, the, ma uh, the maximum volume of a box that we can have given this restriction. So, uh, we have the, the volume of a box, this box in particular. We're going to have, uh, we're going to take the area of the base and multiply it by the height, of course. That's how you would get any volume. So that would be x squared because uh, the, the base is uh, x times x times y. The height. Okay. So now if, if you think about it, it's true because if you have something like a triangle here and you want to find, let's, let's imagine you extrude this triangle out of the board. Now you want to find the volume of that. An object. So you're going to take one half base times height to find the area, and that's the area of one cubic centimeter. I mean, no, that's the volume of one cubic centimeter. So you have to multiply by the height to get um, the actual volume of whatever it is in this case, a triangle. So we do that in multivariable calculus to find a basic volume. So now uh, this is a, an equation in both x and y. So we want to find uh, an equivalent equation in one variable because most people watching this video haven't taken multivariable calculus so we'll do it uh, the easier way. So uh, we can use this equation here 108 equals 4x plus y to, uh, to create one variable. So that's going to give us uh, let's solve for y. So y is equal to uh, 108 minus 4x. Okay, because we uh, subtract 4x from both sides. Now, we just plug that into uh, our equation here for volume. So that's x squared multiplied by 108 minus 4x, which is the new y. Alright, now, we have it in one variable x. So we have to uh, take the derivative of volume with respect to x, so we can try to maximize it. Because we're, what we're trying to do is find critical points, uh, you know, for the, the length, the, um, the dimensions of the box. Alright, so this dv derivative of volume with respect to x is equal to, now we have to use the product rule, so it's uh, 2x multiplied by 108 minus 4x plus x squared times 108, the derivative of that is 0, minus 4x, so that's going to be minus 4. Alright, so now we'll clean this up, uh, adding, subtracting, left terms, multiplying, all that jazz. So this is 216x minus 8x squared uh, minus 4x squared. So we'll clean it up further, adding, subtracting, left terms now. Alright, so that's going to be... Uh, minus 12x squared. Ah, done.
dumb noise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so now it's 12x squared plus 216x. Alright, great. So we found the derivative of uh, the volume with respect to x. So let me just write it up here uh, to save some space. Okay, so. Right, it's 12x squared plus 216x. Alright, now. What we want to do now is, uh, since we have the derivative, we need to see where this derivative is uh, equal to zero. Of course, because that's where a critical point will occur. So if it's going, if the graph is going up, at a critical point it starts to go down. Then at another critical point it starts to go up again. So we want to find um, a maximum value here. Something like that. We want to find a concave downward. Uh, point. Alright, so now we can try and factor this. If we factor this, we can find, uh, let's see, so that's going to be, we could factor out the minus 12x, and that's going to be x plus 18. Oh no, I'm sorry, minus 18 to make it equivalent, uh, minus times minus is positive. So that tells us that uh, x is equal to 18. All right, so let's write that up here. All right, now, okay, so if we want to check that, all right, let's see. Let's see if that's, you know, true critical point, you know, if it's concave upward, I mean, uh, downward like we want. So we would plug that in uh, to here. Well, we, we would find the second derivative actually. Uh, yeah, to, to check that, all right. So let's see, that's going to be the second derivative or the second v dx squared is equal to uh, minus 24x plus 216. All right, now, if you, let's say you plug in 18, you know, we don't even need to actually compute this. If you plug in 18, minus 24 times uh, 18, that's going to be greater than 216. So it's going to be minus something, uh, a, a negative that's larger plus something smaller. So that's going to, the answer is going to be negative. It's going to be a negative value, which tells you that it's concave downward, the sign of the, der the second derivative at x is equal to 18 is negative. So that truly is a maximum point. All right. So now, uh, found that. All right, so now we just have to try to find what y is. We have x already. So it's going to be here, Okay. So uh, y. Okay, so we'll do the calculation to see. 4 times 18. Okay, so y is equal to 36. Alright, so we have x now and we have y. So now we see uh, if we have a box with dimensions uh, 18. And, uh, and 36, so that's going to be the volume is equal to 18 times 18 times 36. These dimensions, 18 for x, so it's 18, 18, 18, 18 inches, and uh, 36 inches long, those dimensions will produce a, uh, a box with the maximum volume, given this restriction, that the cross section here and the, uh, and the length has to be 108 inches. There's our answer. Alright, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in a future video.